What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Knock Black K Clutch K247. We are here showing you guys the best way to use devs in CFM. We're going to go over here and make a whole new CFM, basically, with all new rosters that basically just came out literally as of like, what, three hours ago with the new update of Madden. And with the new update of Madden, I hate to say it, but some of the best gems in the game is gone. Some of them are gone. So, um,. Yeah, we're going to need to, uh, you know, maybe we got to make some things happen when it comes to devs. But, yeah, we're going to go over to a team. We're going to go to the Vikings, right? And we're basically going to show you guys a prime example of things to do as far as, like, who to put the devs on, what to do as far as putting the devs on. You know, just basically put you guys in to the all things going on to see if it'll make you guys better players so if you guys like that and you guys want other stuff answered make sure you put the questions down below in the comments i'm answering all comments and uh basically helping you guys be better in cfm starting with the very important part which is the team building first thing that you're going to need to do when you get here to cfm go down here to manage roster and go to depth chart after you go to depth chart push triangle push confirm and then every starter is in their right appropriate spot. Um, and then right after that, you go right down here to adjust lineup and you basically look at your team. You look at what you need. You look at what basically is like, oh, this is our holes. This is what we need help with. Like, where do we need to put certain people at? And basically all you see is that your abilities is Harrison Smith, Danelle Hunter, TJ Hawkinson, and you got the best wide receiver in the game in Justin Jefferson. Now, as far as devs, where are you going to put these devs at? Now, let's just say in the league, you get one X Factor, two superstars, two a A's reductions or ARs, and you get one dev up. Now, if you don't know what a dev up is, you get somebody right here like Alexander Madison, and you put him from a normal to a star. Or you take somebody like uh, Dalton Reisner, and put them from star to superstar. Or you can even take somebody like TJ Hawkinson and put them from superstar to X Factor. That's what a dev up means. Now at age reset, you can go down here to somebody as a Kirk Cousins, and you see he's 35 years old, you can go and instantly put him down to 20 or whatever the league allows you to put your age reduction to. Because some people will only put it down to like 10 years from where their age is, um, which is kind of stupid. Like you might if it's an age reduction, just put it at 20. Just 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 leave it at 20. Um, but yeah, some things that with these devs too is that when you do put an AR on somebody right here, like Kirk Cousins, if you look right here above his head, I mean right by his head, that 40k XP, that XP plays very, very much into an age reduction, and I'll show you why. Right now, his bar can go up to 68,000 plus xp which is what you're looking for with a great person to put an ar on so you got somebody like kirk cousins at 40k xp and if you go ahead and put him down to an x factor quarterback now since you got a quarterback on a team that's one of your devs that you definitely got to put on he goes from 35 to 20 years old and then you go over here and you put him at a superstar x factor that 40k xp that's right there now turns into a whole lot of upgrades into Kirk Cousins. So if you divide 40 by that four, that's how many upgrades that he will get for that XP, which is a very good thing. So that's what you're looking for when you get to an age reduction, or you can have a different type of age reduction. So let's go over here to the defense and show you Harrison Smith. Now, Harrison Smith is 34 years old superstar who's at 89 overall. Now, what will be the difference of a superstar that's a 89 overall superstar? I mean, what's not? What's the difference between a strong safety that is an 89 overall superstar that's at a younger age? It's just the age. So if you take this man Harrison Smith and bring him down to a 20 years old, you can basically just use the AR just like that, and now you have a younger, literal strong safety that has a dev that you can build up to the rest of what you need. So that's another thing you can do an AR on. Um, next is your devs. Basically your devs, you have basically two options for your devs. Either you can sit here and use your devs for somebody like a Jordan Addison. You can use it for Anderson Mattinson. Uh, and you can basically build them up, a, like build them up with their dev. 
Like one of a superstar built their overall up more. You can see, you guys can see that Jordan Addison is at an 81. He's at a star, and you have to wait until five downs to go and upgrade him to a star officially. But if you want that superstar automatically or X Factor right immediately, the dev is going to put them at that spot. Anyway, you can easily build him up, do things that you can with him, and build him to a higher overall. Or you can go ahead and put your dev on somebody that is around that 84 or is around that nine uh, 89 overall. So if you put him at like, if you got somebody that's at like an 84 overall, the tiers of where you need certain um, abilities unlocked is at 85. It's at 85 and it's at 89. So if you want that third ability on somebody, you might as well put in a, a dev on that person. That is an 80, 182, 83, 84 overall. So that means you know you're getting that third ability soon. Or you go over to somebody that has like an 89 overall like this. He is very, very close to getting that uh last ability that you need. See like Acrobat and all that. That will get you that 90 that you will need to get some of the higher um abilities. So right here where it says Enforcer, the very first ability slot this opens up at 75. Okay, this goes for any um, position. This opens up at 75. Um, this next slot over here opens up at 80. 80 will give you two abilities now this year, where last year it will only give you one. Um, and then over here, this third slot will give you 85 overall. And then at 90, it basically will opens up all the other things that you need. So basically everything is unlocked for that position. Now, it does matter about their archetypes of what they actually will um, have unlocked, but to know that it will be unlocked after a certain amount of games will definitely help you out. Now, if you go over here to these abilities with the quarterback, you guys can see here at an 85 overall, he gets his fourth slot. So here for a quarterback is different. The first one is at a 70. This one is at a 75. This one is at an 80. This one is at an 85. And this one is at a 90. Okay. Now, when you go over to a, uh, X Factor with certain people here on the uh, defensive side, so let's just say we put it here on Daniel Hunter. Uh, here, you guys can see here at a 90 overall, he will get this slot of um, everything that you have unlocked. But here for if you have him as an X Factor, he will have these three still unlocked at uh 70 no no i think it's 675 80 85 now when you hit that 95 overall he actually gets a fourth ability slot okay that 95 overall when it gets on the d-line it's absolutely scary because then you can go ahead and pair him up with edge threat you can pair him up with inside stuff you can actually go like either no outsiders or double or nothing. And now you guys can see double or nothing inside stuff, etch threat. You can put that extra ability on at the end and possibly put on a pick artist. You can put on a lurker. You can put on um crusher. You can put on secure tackler, stonewall. You can put on anything else that you want. But it also kind of brings up that uh some of the good stuff that you get at 95 overall as well. So that's something that you can monitor as putting on your devs as well. So when you see somebody at that 90, getting close to a 95 overall as an X factor, that's definitely value right there. Cause that's an extra ability that not a lot of people get. Um, but yeah, you can also put abilities on not just to keep, but for also to trade away. So you have certain people like a Marcus Davenport, you put an ability on him, you can trade him for somebody else uh, at a different position, or you can trade him for picks. Um, Next, uh, very valuable positions in football is definitely your DBs. DBs is honestly, I feel like DBs, quarterback and wide receivers definitely has to be on the top of everybody's board. Everybody's looking for a quarterback to throw it to these playmakers. You need wide receivers and you definitely going to need some DBs. Everybody looks for DBs more than anything else on the defensive side. Some people like me, I value the defensive line a lot more because you can't get the ball out to these receivers unless there's no pressure in your face. Now, now if you have that combination where you have abilities on defense and you have them on DBs, then cool. It's very, very cool. But 
majority of everybody, maybe even including yourself, that you will really want abilities at your DBs, most likely at your corners more than your safeties. But um, yeah, if you know how the league is, you know how certain people are and you know what their values are, you can go ahead and put your abilities on the people that you know you're not going to need, trade them and get what you need valued for yourself onto your team and technically swindle or fleece them. Now, a lot of leagues will have trade committees, so some trades probably wouldn't go through. But some leagues where they don't have a trade committee, you can go bananas, okay? So that's something you can do for your abilities. Or if your team, kind of like the Vikings, don't have players that you kind of want to put abilities on, you can go down here to manage roster, go right here to free agents, and you can see that this is a gold mine for players that you can put your AR on. You can go ahead and put your devs on. And in a separate video later, we will be showing you guys the best updated video on people to use your AR on. And I'll give you guys a sneak peek. I'll give you three players. One is this man, Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz right here, he has 47K XP. You see what we have with TJ Hawkinson, right? This Zach Ertz, same build, they both 6'5", and he, I think he's like two or three pounds heavier, will basically be the same tight end. He will go from an 81 overall to a 91 overall just from putting a dev on him and for putting an edge reduction on him. So that's one. Two, you can go all the way over here to punter and you can pick up Andy Lee. All right. Andy Lee, he has 51K XP and you put an edge reduction on him from 41 to 20. This man can go from. 72 to an 86 overall punter that you can convert to kicker. Come on now. Come on now. I'm giving you guys the juice. I'm giving you guys the juice. Uh, other players that you could possibly have. Uh, was it a Joe Flacco? Did Joe Flacco get XP now? No, he didn't. Like certain people at certain over, uh, like certain, like you're going to have to find some people. Like, you're just going to have to scroll through, look at some people, see, like, 39K XP. Definitely can bring him down and actually get better upgrades, get better outside uh, tackles to help out your O-line, do certain things like that. But that's what you normally can use your devs on. You can use them to rebuild your team or to build a team that you already have now and play with that team, get some trades here and there, and just basically do what you need to do to make the team a lot better. Now, if this video helps you guys out, Make sure you guys go ahead and leave the like, comment down below, other questions that you have about devs, about CFM, anything of that matter, and they will get answered as soon as possible. And if I don't know the answer, I will find out for you. But other than that, it's been your boy Underdog Fly. Peace out.